Let me show you this really underrated Premiere Pro plugin, which can automatically add subtitles inside Premiere Pro in just simple clicks. And it's better in every way if compared to any other tool on the internet. It can add or translate your subtitles in 99 plus language with advanced transcription models, which never disappoint, unlike Premiere. You can choose various trending styles in form of Mogurts, and you have total control over your texts, unlike other editing software. You can change your text or even change the animated captions to another at any point during the video. And if you pair your texts with good fonts, then believe me, it's gonna be a nightmare to move on from this plugin, considering how much time it saves. So without using Dynamic Link, let's get started. When you install the plugin successfully, it looks something like this. If we wanna update something in text, then we will go in this tab. But for now, we don't have any text. So let's get back to the Insert tab. And here you can see four options. So let's deal with them one by one. So if we expand captions, then we can get to choose how we want to generate the captions. So if you have a caption track, generate by native Premiere transcription, or you can choose the caption file, then browse your files. But let's be honest, who used these stupid old geezers method when you have this auto captions button? Yeah, I know some people will. So let me tell you that if you click this setting button and reach to voice activity detection, and here you can choose bunch of transcription models, which are much better than native Premiere transcription models. It has all the language you can even need while editing videos, and it gets really handy if you ever edit videos for other language. Now let's expand this merge section, and here you can see a lot of crazy subtitles animation one by one as you hover your mouse. You can use this slider to increase the previews so that you can figure out which is the best one to use. There's no way you can create this typing of animations so fast manually. And if you think you are the fastest man alive, then go ahead and just try it yourself. They also keep adding these Mogurts with new updates. And if you don't have patience, then you can even create them using After Effects and save it as a motion graphics template. And you will be able to use that here in just some clicks. So I'm gonna choose this one, and let's move ahead to the next level. And here you can specify either you want your subtitles in just single line or double. Next up, we have this Create button, where you can choose the track where you want to add these texts on. And here you can choose if you want to add subtitles on whole sequence or just a part of it. If you want to add it in some segment, then just select In and Out points using I and O key. And this could be helpful if you ever find some mistake just right before sending the video. Now it's time what everyone was waiting for. So we will hit this Add Mogurts button, and with some seconds, texts will be added. And you will be shocked that how much less effort it took to get here. You can also access all the text property using Properties panel, like changing fonts, reposition texts, make it bold, italic, whatever you want, all is here. Personally, I like this animation. But if you watch anything over and over again, it loses its shine. So if you even need to change the text animation, then just simply head over to Properties panel. And just select one text layer. And here you can see a bunch of text properties which are specific for this Mogurt. First, we will change its fonts from this drop-down menu. And soon as you do that, you that your captions instantly start to look different. And here is a checkbox where you can turn on and off the animations. Currently, the animations is looking like this. And if we turn off the animations, then it will look something like this. Next, we get the offset property. And this can be used to reposition the text according to the footage. And it's really helpful to make your caption appear on the right spot. And here you have some additional property like a line, which can be used quickly to move layer in X direction. If you have subtitles in two lines, then you can adjust the space between them using this line spacing slider. And for the word spacing, you can use this sliders to give spacing between each words. And if we need spacing control over each character, then use the next slider. In this fill and stroke section, you can add stroke color, even the fill color for the text. And you might be thinking, why the stroke isn't appeared on the text yet? So this is because by default, the stroke width is zero. So we have to increase the stroke width by this sliders, and then only we will be able to see it. You can also give them stroke to this box, and even adjust the roundness of the box to make it sharp as knife or soft round them to give more natural UI look. And these settings vary on the Mogurts which you have chosen. For example, I have selected this arch subtitles. Then we can see some additional effects and control property. And here you can adjust the shadow distance or even bend the text to give it unique look. And you can encounter many different properties to play around with each Mogurt. So make sure to not stop the creative outcome while creating subtitles with this. Now, if you made some changes and play the timeline, then you will notice the changes are made only in first layer, 
and here the Update tab come in handy. Simply select that text and head over to Update tab and hit Copy, and this will copy all the changes we made to the text from default settings, and select all the text layers. So we will select Track Forward Tool by pressing A key and hold Shift before selecting the track AND. It will only select on track on which you have selected. Now when we selected all the texts, simply paste the properties we copied by here, and within some time, it will be done. There's a lot of control on each one of these mogurts, which makes it so powerful, and you can completely change the look of your subtitles in just some simple clicks. And if you want some fast-paced subtitles, then just simply go to the caption setting. And this sliders determines the number of words displayed at a time. So, if you are editing long-form video like a podcast where you don't want to destroy the video, then keep it at higher amount, so that people don't look at subtitles all the time. And if you want to be the next Mr. Beast, then keep it at one or two, then create the caption and see this bouncy text that even Mr. Beast struggle to make this fast. In the Mogurts tab, you can see there's repetitive Mogurts, but they aren't the same. If you pay attention closely, then you can notice these different tiny icons on every single version of same Mogurts. If you are creating subtitles for shorts, then choose this vertical Mogurt. And if you're doing for long form, then choose this one. And this will help you to scale the Mogurts perfectly according to your sequence size. You can even filter them from this funnel icon and uncheck the items you don't need, and you won't see any repetitive Mogurts. Captioneer uses advanced transcription models, which helps it to generate more accurate transcription, which Adobe might need a couple of years to fix. It comes with different models. The small ones are fast and less accurate, and their large V3 Turbo model is so accurate that you can edit video for aliens. If you prefer more accurate transcription but slow speed, then go for larger models. Now, let me show you how you can access more Mogurts and use them in this tool. So here's some third-party Mogurts. These are only visible on my Graphics and Temples panel. This is because this plugin don't know where these Mogurts are located. So to make sure it's visible here, simply go to this gear icon, then hit Add Folder, and browse through your location where you stored them, and select the folder in which you have stored it in, and hit OK, and you will be able to see those Mogurts instantly. But if you don't, then this button and it will refresh the Mogurts and you will be able to use them immediately. Now, you might be wondering where can you find these Mogurts, right? So, there are many websites which you can use to get them, like Envato, Adobe Stock, or Motion Array. And you can try out this amazing tool for 14 days for free without adding any payment method. So, what you've been waiting for? Try it now from the link in the description and make your editing less exhausting. You can subscribe to this tool at $10 monthly. But if you really believe this tool can save you a lot of time, then it also comes with lifetime subscription and you can use it for eternity. So make sure to check this amazing tool from the link in the description. And I will see you in a next video.